cheat, this the king's speech. Tell you about the rap game, lose your instincts. Squad the campaign that was by the Bing's peak. Pop a lot of champagne on the wind street. I decided to take part in Coke Studios uh, because they gave us a great deal, uh, you know, um, business wise. Um, it made sense. And also, um, you know, music is about collaboration, especially collaboration between African artists. Uh, Paturankin is somebody I've uh, wanted to do a song with, for uh, a record with for, for a while. Um, you know, we're both familiar with each other, with each other's music, uh, and also each other's countries, you know, South Africa and Nigeria. Uh, we both have fan bases, in, I have fan base in Nigeria, he has one here in South Africa. Um, so it, it really made a lot of sense um, to get into studio and, and give people a, a look into what it takes to make the music. Um, I think people see the, the, the end product and they enjoy it or they don't enjoy it or whatever, but uh, especially with regards to me, I've never done Coke Studio before and nobody's ever really had a, a look into what type of person I am when I'm working on music, what my process is like, um, you know, and, and really how the music gets made. My contribution to Coke Studio is uh, showing up <laughs> and, uh, and, and getting into studio and uh, making sure that you know, we do this collaboration, but we also uh, fuse uh, together, you know, our perspectives, our influences, our sound, our taste, and our ideas. So I'm really here in my, you know, aka South African context, um, you know, via my upbringing and what type of artist I am, and uh, Pato to do that on his side. Uh, you know, everybody's really here to, to work together and to make a, 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 a great song, yeah. Collaboration between African artists is very important, um, but I also don't think it should just be about where you're from, uh, for whatever other reason. It's always about the music first. You know, um, you have to work with somebody uh, who, uh, you know, respects your work and whose work you respect. You know, that's how it works for me. And, um, you know, African artists need to stick together. African people need to stick together. And, you know, the artists are kind of like the thought leaders and, the, you know, like the you know, influences in, in terms of getting our people to also think that way. We're doing that through music, working together. And, uh, you know, music bridges all, you know, div crosses the divide, doesn't matter really where you're from. If you're African, you, you know, we share the same set of values and warmth and customs and, and thinking. You know? I think that, it, it, you know, there shouldn't be too much thought, why are we doing this song? I think it should be more about Artist to artist, what can we create? Upcoming or not, it doesn't it doesn't matter. I've done music with upcoming artists, I've done music with established artists, I've been an upcoming artist, you know, so it I've never really thought about it, you know, with those parameters. I'm never like, okay, who is the hottest new guy that I can you know? It's always about, oh, this guy's music is great. Oh, he's also a new guy? Okay, great. You know what I mean? That's how really I think about it. I don't think I'm trying to bring anything from the States to mm -hmm. Africa. I'm trying to take everything from Africa to the States. <laughs> you know? Um, I, I think there's already enough of the States here. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Through our... Um, just our, South Africa is the most westernized country in the whole continent. And that, that, that surely has its, you know, you know our, our comforts and things that we like and whatever. But also it has an effect on the way we view our own artists, the way we view ourselves. Um, you know, for instance, look at this 90% thing. That's the greatest thing to happen to, 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 to South African music in a long time. Because maybe now we might not see, you know, the immediate effects of it. But in 10 years, if we, if we keep it in place, five years, if we keep it in place, that'll force companies to spend more money on South African artists, force people to produce more local TV, more newspapers, more... Do you know what I mean? It's like it has a, a cultural effect on the mindset of our people. And I want to take that and say, okay, cool, well, this, while, while, while we're doing whatever we're doing here in South Africa, let's take this, this AKA, who's a product of that, and take him overseas and try to get people overseas to really understand what's going on here, because I think we already, um, we've filled our quota in terms of the states. What can you expect from my collaboration? Um, good vibes, nice, something to move to something well written, something genuine, uh, something that crosses, uh, you know, across, you know, the borders and, and uh, brings people together. Yeah. I was on the ground, they was caught up in I